another morning again inside we had. Plenty things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what go here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I'll just go to the kitchen and check my colores. Yes, colores. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So na that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. Another morning again inside we had. Plenty things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what go here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wall and we had, I'll just go to the kitchen and check my colors. Yes, colors. Some man really like for eat in the morning. Some people say they just like when they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So, na that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the front page and inside the newspaper. So, not forget to join we 8 a.m. Another morning again inside we had. Plenty things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what go here today. But this be small country we had. Anyway. Good morning and welcome to another beautiful edition of a program we call Cool Rest Right on We Had na YouTube and on Facebook. Um, one for telling plenty. Thank you for it on January inside the program this morning. Follow we discuss different other issues there. If you just join me, please not forget to for share and like the program. Well, when they look at the different uh, front pages, um, story them, and then we actually get the um, people them way go look at the different different story and analyze them based on how them see them, based on uh, their own eye, uh, their own lens, their own opinion. And uh, so we can look at the different, different story them. Well, when they go inside the first story where we actually get inside the program this morning, the first um, paper where we get inside the program this morning. And the first paper for this morning are the AZ newspaper. The AZ newspaper gets a big banner headline. We say June 24, 2023, former APC strategist predict no runoff for President Bill. Freetown Mayor are in, in court for alleged obstruction. IMF paint bleak picture of economies in sub saharan Africa. APC lower level election, PPRC rules on petition in 16 years old people uh, threatened um, with knife and raped. This is another story day for you inside the AZ newspaper for this morning. And the next paper for this morning at the Vindicator newspaper, we say Parliament launches Freedom of Religion Caucus. And Dr. Kaifala Mara explains vision of hope to diasporans via Zoom. Um, uh, you as well get um, NF, NAFFSL trains uh, district representatives on national farmers' registration. This is another story day for you inside the Vindicator newspaper. And the next paper for this morning, now the Independent Observer, we say SLPP will lose 2023 elections no matter what. Kasha J. Olam Cole, now in the actually the court. And then you get Bill sign landmark gender equality law. This and all the story for you inside the Independent Observer this morning. And the next paper, now the Tribune Times, we say landmark law to protect women's right in Sierra Leone. New Court Act expand jurisdiction of magistrate court and you get police officer dismissed for unlawful um, possession, possessing kush. No time to waste. President Bill gives it all to women and uh, MBSSE partner with Partner train 1,000 adult learner on entrepreneurship skills. This is another story they cited the Tribune newspaper for this morning. 
and the source newspaper say he threatened to kill me with a knife, removed my uniform and sexually abused me, victim told the court, and Pepe Railway agreement will frustrate mining companies. Parliament passes the court amendment act 2023 and then you get this other one we say i have written all i have written all sorry i have written off all negative impressions about um sierra leone president bill tells his audience in fancunia chiefdom and president bill receives uh first sierra leonean amir of Ahmadiyya muslim jamaat and uh, MTCA and TB wrap up construction of a co tourism site in Banana Island. This is another story for you inside the, the, the source newspaper. And the next one now, the national newspaper. The new national newspaper. We see uh, President Bio receives a sounding 2023 election victory assurance from stakeholders and uh, Liberia ambassador advised youth to desist from violence uh, for trafficking and um, congestion police indict lebanese businessman that's another story day for you inside the new nationalist the new national newspaper and the next paper for this morning now the salon compact we say atlas government and then you get extra large management in massive exploitation. This is another story day for you inside the Salon Compass newspaper. And the next paper for this morning, now the Guardian newspaper, the Guardian Post, we say APC playing with fire. And then you get um, Renips readily ready for state house. And then you get President Bio is a natu natural born leader and JSS3 pupil died of FGM. This is another story day for you inside the Guardian Post newspaper. And the next one, uh, Daybreak newspaper, we say no one off. APC will defeat SLPP hands down. Then they quote Cherry No Bar, Cherry um, Cherry No Majuba. And then you get gender equality and empowerment bill becomes law and uh, gentle will fall by his words this another story day for you inside the daybreak newspaper and the next one for this morning at the africa 24 we say slpp kush versus apc tramadol and then you get emf eastern region prepares ahead of ILO and then you get 2023 election a vote on foodstuff price and Moyamba stakeholders assures Bio of victory. Um, this is another story day inside the Africa 24 newspaper and the next one now the nature newspaper we say most like victims relief and you get Mayor Aki Sawyer opens defense development partner provides provides 10.9 million dollars for 2023 elections five biggest environmental issues in africa this is another story day for inside the nature newspaper and the Aoko newspaper say prosecution cross examine fcc mayo in alleged disorderly behavior case and 420 free quality um, education textbook and driver arrested at um mandamaya police checkpoint cambia and you get cambia as President Bio donate big radio content commences massive um, rehabilitation work. This and other story day for you inside the Aoko newspaper this morning. In the next one, now the Congo Times newspaper we say terminate termination of lease agreement. King Ho advised to choose the um, negotiating table. And uh, um, Pujon, Ambassador Omri Goli, declares for APC flag bearer. And you get um, SLCB honors past and present staff. This is another story day for you inside the um, Concord Times newspaper for this morning. And the last paper we take this morning, now the Glena we say 48.1 billion Leons missing at Ministry of Basic and Senior Secondary Education. And former rebel spokesman wants to be president. And the petroleum director extends Sierra Leone fifth offshore license round. This is another story day for you inside the um, Glena newspaper for this morning. Well, now the uh, paper, and this way we actually get 
inside the program this morning and now we actually go over to we guest now for lay we able for get the different story them and discuss the different different things them we the inside the paper them we day of national interest to um and we plenty people get interest for know about well um we on that note we actually the welcome you know the person we actually in not only first time this way it on the journey in name na alfonsos bani um in the work for one civil rights activist one um, um organization where they defend um people them inside the country we na um so so that i actually get the the organization in him but i don't be a gummy inside mr bani sorry about that um the eight don't look the one small good morning sir and welcome to the program yeah good morning okay very sorry about that please <coughs> um uh, tell me the organization in him again please human rights defenders network here i do exactly thank you and, and forgive me for that sir and uh we actually they go inside the different um, newspaper there now we we don't watch already the different paper there but at the start with this last one we uh, uh pick up we now our last review we basically they talk about um different story them one amongst them uh, na the one way is a former rebel spokesman to be president so what do you actually make up of a headline like this a story like this To me, you know, I know, you know, make any, you know, you know, get any major thing as, as a human rights activist. Any, anybody gets as long as you know, it's a union, you're entitled for, for contest for, even for the highest position. And the, the, the laws will provide if you get anything, probably where they don't convict you, where now one of the, the provision, the way they way they eliminate you for contesting, either as a parliament or as president, then I think that would be a concern if the law would, would bend. But everybody from the human perspective, they get the rights for vote and be voted for in any office of this country, provided the person they fall within the 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 the, the conditions the way they qualify you for make them vote for you or you vote. So, so, um, so for, for, for let it actually okay. describe him this way as former rebel, he, he actually describe him better or they, they try for, you know, like, um, sideline him or, uh, uh, you know, go against him, you know, because if somebody see this, he will begin to think otherwise. <coughs> well, I know one, I know one speak for the, 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 the writer and the no, newspaper. From a human rights perspective, now I ask you. Well, that now what we refer to as a, 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 a labeling and a normally defined as uh, a human rights activist. Somebody who don't uh, want to know is that when the rebel will be done, done, will be get to refer to as the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. When the Truth and Reconciliation Commission then the institute and then they investigate and bring out the history of what it caused the war. And so because of that one, they will don't go through what we refer to as a reconciliation or we don't pass that stage. Which would they see now? Would they see yourself as brothers and sisters and as civil union? So we don't need to get somebody for begin refresh we of this person or whatsoever since we don't pass that stage. The thing what they expect from newspapers and for the rights, if somebody we you know say not qualified by the statutory provision for contest and election, you can raise that one day. Say this person because they don't convict them of a crime or they don't do this, they not get they not get the qualification for. For, for contest. But uh, the newspapers, they get their own rights, they get their own, uh, that's their own right for uh, for rights. And they left to the individual, whether Nanga for take the decision, whether what is the newspaper rights about them, a correct, or anything say, it will take action against the newspaper. But from, from we, from the human perspective, the decision lies with the individual way the newspaper the rights about them. Okay, so uh, actually they look at different things. There, we go to the next paper. We um, now the AZ newspaper. This one say IMF paint bleak picture of economies <coughs> in sub-Saharan Africa. You know, this basically they speak to the um, way how things don't be difficult right now. You know, globally or you know in the in in the African continent. What do you make up of this as well? 
Well, IMF and their own professional uh, 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 competence for they look at economies of uh, countries and states and come out with a report for do a projection as to how the countries that they move or regional bodies and they move towards addressing the economic situation or livelihoods of their citizens. And it could be a very good pointer for we as a nation for see how would they would they try to absorb then then harsh condition in day or how would they change with approach and strategies and for respond to the needs of we with citizens. And uh, this is like a global issue, and uh, we just therefore come together as a nation for see how we will push it. But the bulk lies on the government for see how they will create some alternative means for ensure say, the people then no will get the brunt of the economic uh, uh, crunch, no will be too much on the people of this country. And I think say, they will therefore do more now that recently we don't see. We say we call it with the uh, with uh, uh, Justice Fisher, mm. uh, Justice Adrian Fisher. We they don't do justice to the to the to the cause of uh, in action, and uh, we appreciate what Justice Fisher don't do. We they don't relieve him of uh, in contempt, and uh, also they don't relieve him of probably the liability we forget in terms of uh, 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 paying the cost to to companies, but the impact of that that decision and the way we we'll see how mobile companies that then come out in a radical way for increased tariffs on the use of internet or calls, it don't become alarming. So we think say in as much Edmund Abubin they do a public interest litigation for address the issue of citizens and looking at the IMF report in terms of the global crunch, in terms of the economic crisis of the of Africa or this sub region, and particularly for Sierra Leone, we think that the government also needs for do for step up. While we they, we know say things are difficult, and the, the we currency don't they appreciate the dollar, but the government equally gets a responsibility for engage mobile companies, because if for any reason the mobile company continue for the increased prices, and people then go out for demonstrates, not it, it affect the government. So the government needs to step up for be more proactive, for see how they engage the mobile companies, for say, look, we know say things are challenging, but law will also try to see how we go push it. Then see, I don't know, make the charge so high. Now you buy data before you remember the data don't go. Of course, I've used now I've, now all around data they always most of the time they use. But now I don't I don't resort for making I use Afri uh, 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 to sell data because it will take me some time. So it don't I don't give the opportunity now to also, when they begin to uh, uh, decide which company you will take for the use of data, we will take you long or we will make you do some work or do your, your activities. But by and large, we think that the government gets a role. One of the government's responsibilities now for see how it will manage the economic situation so that it not go tell much on the people of this country and it will reduce the tendency for a, how you call them, for a, a backlash from the citizens then, for go out on the rapid for say, no, enough is enough and we not go green. And the only thing the government will stop on that, that now for see how it will engage the mobile companies. For say, look, we need for we need for for pipe down, and we need for do some structural adjustment on. So how how you feel say the government for engage the company? When are the government themselves now they force predict or now they force ask the mobile company them for work according to what they call a floor price? Where we make we see. Um, um, the mobile company them they actually is the price of force where people are, are, are talk to the government come back and reduce them. Now the company they don't come back based on that first argument they say that they is the price them and then instantly we see the government sign to the, the agreement because before the company is any price and the government they agree. Well let me go to talk say for now the government they assume say things are normal. What will they look at we will they look at risk uh will they look at meeting getting factors to national and state security. Uh, let government not make complacent of the situation that uh, people then they look happy. They're not happy. For any reason, what something will trigger a, 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 a public outcry or demonstration, it will affect the operations of the government. So then kind of situation, there is no need for make people then begin push government. People, government for even know automatically, if you look at the cost of living, of the citizens, it's so high. You go for go buy rest, it don't go high. 
you transportation is high, uh, electricity bills they're high. Before you remember, you buy bill, you go buy you buy fifty thousand or even uh, forty thousand loan credit, so they give uh, uh, ten units. Everything don't go up. So for any sector now where they where they where they increase that impact, the people they absorb it, the name will absorb again. It they create a backlash. So government will be more sensitive in that kind of situation. They also for try for see how you go create a scenario will make people will not go take the people will not take to the streets. And these are these are the pointers where they call civil unrest. And, and government not for just remain complacent, but say ah for me everything is normal or whatever. People they resilience. Uh, how for this Serenian, they're able to absorb. And that, 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 is, that, that is a challenge and a risk factor for even governance. So they need to be proactive for see how they for try to begin cushion some aspects. You know, cushion all area, but some areas, if you try for cushion, it will also give the appetite to the citizen for say, government will be able to do it all, but if they try for address A, B, C, D, we will make people feel good. And I think that that kind of approach they will think say, government needs for, for say. Okay, let me look. Still on the on this same issue, Africa twenty four actually gets a small part of the the front page where then get to the same issue we talk about. So we say, um, this one the link come to the election twenty twenty three election a vote on food stuff prices. You know we they see the inflation, you know the hike on food price like you already don't don't they try for analyze. You think say this time around people will get for look based on waiting they happen where then they look at the different um, prices them how things done the difficult. Or then we still feel say the need for look at how they use for vote inside the country, from from the human rights lens. Well, from the human rights perspective, if you try for analyze, I think when they look at voting, in fact, what you for look at is not to voting they go on and the economic situation because if you, if they vote, if they look at say you are voting for economic situation, at any point in time they vote out a government because a government they try for manage. For now, how we see the. Even the well, the, the the industrialized nations, the wealthy nations, people they still struggle for their survival, and, and so to me, I know they look at her from that angle. But what that, they look no, at from the angle, the, 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 the facts say, even I, 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 their wealthy nation and they, then they campaign on then different, you know, hiking food prices and they. I, I am coming. Yeah, not the campaign, but it, 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 even before we vote out the last election, they vote out APC. Mm. Price will only hike, mm -hmm. not to be because of price hike make APC be come on. Now other policies and other issues. Okay. So what do you look at? What in there in this country right now where people have for begin consider when they do voting? Now for look at your rights. What in they give the liberty for hold government accountable? And, and me not look at. I don't even encourage voters for look at the price system uh, increase in, uh, in tariff or whatsoever. How would they ensure, say, then two political parties, APC and SFPP, or SFPP and APC, how we go hold them accountable by ensuring that we get a progressive constitution of this country? The Justice Kawan uh, Commission of a uh, uh, Constitutional Review Committee did very well when they bring with all together for get to review as to how we want to see a constitution of this country. And they come out with a report where it even makes sure, say, the economic, social, and cultural rights in this country, it will be justiciable, mm -hmm. so that we will hold government accountable if they don't make ensure say we 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 get right to food, we get right to health, we get right to shelter whatsoever. APC government kick her out. SNPP government what they so in power about? They not even attend for for take and they throw her out again. And so we have to vote for constitution. We have to vote because the only document they will hold we we go make we hold government accountable. No matter what, you pull APC, you pull SMPP now, any government can that constitution with it, you know the whole government accountable. So what you can look at now, something what they hold, what they make government in, government out, we hold them accountable to the people of this country. And nobody not to discuss the issue of with constitutional review. Nobody to discuss the issue of the government white paper, even the current uh, government white paper. It's not sufficient enough because we they believe say. What the justice come and the report we don't do is sufficient enough for many a job bring that they can because now that the decision will all take as a nation. So we don't see any reason why government for can cherry pick what you want, what you for candidate like the constitution. The constitution is not for SLPP. Today, SLPP will come under power. Any other party can have power, not say APC can have power. That same thing will then pull out 
of that constitution, it gave a hot them back as a party. The executive go to enjoy, but their supporters then go see so far the brunt of voting the party executive kick out of the Justice Cowan report. So what would they try for encourage this? Long not look at what in Justice Cowan, uh, the late Justice Cowan, Constitutional Review Committee, then present from the political party angle. Long look at her from the angle of Sierra Leone and for generations yet unborn. If we look at her from that angle, party supporters, they need to tell them, party executives say, enough is enough. We need to take Justice Cowan, the Constitutional uh, uh, Review Committee reports. And bring her and put her as a constitution for this country. That's in a real progressive constitution. And I think that, that can mean now from that kind of angle, I think so we need for votes. All right, the program we still watch now colleagues on YouTube and on Facebook and the <coughs> channel now we had. We actually they talk about different issues them we they come out of the different paper them uh, this morning. And uh, we go now to the next paper for this morning. We now this one, this one again is very important. I think this one we really can look at so now public interest. You know the Nature newspaper get this um, banner headline we then put on that say Mayor Kisoya opens defense. Basically, you know this the uh, allegation of obstruction we then say he <coughs> stop, you know police now um, airport as them they try for um, perform their duty. Um, the other term. So now it don't actually they don't begin cross examine them. You know what do you make up of this particular issue again? I can't say much on that issue because it didn't in court and uh, I know was in attempt for say anything what they, what they suggest for prejudice the the proceedings of the court. What you will know is that look, we look at the process as to how it go whether uh, Mayor Akisoya. They be they been go they be then be been given the opportunity for enjoy the due process of law that that will follow where there is a breach of the due process of law they will raise an issue but as you proceed in the go now we will not go ten and not go ten for discuss the content the nitty gritty of the the issues will they in court will they before uh, 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 the court for 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 trial all what will they say is that look will they monitor the process for see whether the trial it will be free and fair and it will be more a speedy trial that now then i think that the issue they would look at okay. why the trial they, they go on right. whether they get a fair trial and they get a very good hearing then they allow in, in, in defense team for presenting your case uh, and whatsoever and that's the way i think we'll get for look at in this context okay so um let me actually see if we can able for you know get you know another person for joining inside the program this morning i just hope say the line will actually permit me for lay we get flow um you know smooth discussion or smooth flow with this particular individual well this possible we don't get for joining we and uh, for add to the um people that we don't join with this morning Na um Sayo Kuruma. Well, commonly um colleague then can call and kekus. You know, this na man we actually don't the right for different newspaper them, especially uh we call newspaper and uh, na senior colleague we do uh, you know in terms of how they look at the story, how they analyze different issues them it just don't be that kind of superb, you know. This is one of the people that we will be known to look up to when then they na the media for actually see how they can presents the story to people them well like i say i just hope say the line because you know if you join on zoom i just hope say the whatsapp line with a day go able for make we get um better you know communication this morning sayo kama good morning and welcome to kulges good morning all right yes, good morning listeners I, 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 I better we don't get you very clear. So let us start with this. I will take you one step backward because we actually get now the program Alfonso Bani, yeah, from Human Rights Defenders Network. We um, join you inside the program and don't they take the, the lead for analyze the different issues them. So for the sake of um, this particular discussion, I will take you one step backward. What do you make up of you know the the way how you know the Full stuff them they, they they go up in the market right now. Uh, it, 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 it honestly is it's frustrating and uh, things in a disappointment to the vast majority of Sierra Leoneans, including the politicians, including the rich, including the poor. Because mind you, uh, 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 standard of living in any country can determine in fact, the well-being of that population. Who we talk about human resources? 
All right, we'll be actually talking just now. Okay, so so now let me ask you this question. According to um, News Twenty Four, you know, um, paper way waiting inputs, you know, then then they link this one to um, the election. Then say a voting on food prices. Yeah, twenty twenty three election, a voting on food prices. You think say this election go actually based on that one day because we don't get the view of Alfonso. Alfonso, sorry. politicians they know say the people vulnerable that is why they are at, well every time when it comes to election then they use them food stuff they are for actually canvas them votes them make us still day inside the nature newspaper and they ask now to this question um, because we see the nature newspaper they say development partners you know don't provide 10.9 million dollars for the 2023 elections you know this is not the money we they um, don't know they don't put inside the election what do you think say they don't know they actually they expect at the end of this or for lay it happen inside this election Oh, 
Mr. Bani, you actually don't listen to it in Cyrus. What do you make up of that particular, um, you know, money day where they don't put and how they don't know them, waiting and then what they expect? Uh, I'm pretty sure the contribution from the donor partners, uh, we really, we highly appreciate them as uh, a country and particularly we as human rights defenders. And the donors that make them very clear that, that they contribute the money because they want to foresee an inclusive, a well-inclusive, free, fair 2023 election. Mm -hmm. That's not the aim of the donors and that they want to foresee. Mm -hmm. so a left to winner as a nation, how would they conduct yourself for make sure say we we give value to the taxpayers' money when they don't have income puts? Will not create any other thing when they undermine the trust and confidence when they get to we as a nation, mm -hmm. whether for the, for the government angle and from we human rights defenders and CSOs. Mm -hmm. So how we conduct ourselves, then we really tell and say we are serious and we are prepared for a credible, for a free, fair and credible elections. And that now they don't aim. And so they want to see how we conduct the election, and after the election, we continue to live as one family. I think that, that the utmost aim that of the, the donor partners and which we also share. Sayola so ask you this question. You know, I don't know if maybe in my mind <laughs> that thing that they play, based on how the politics don't tell like inside the country right now. <clears throat> we see like virtually everything don't divide along every other activity inside the country. You think say we will get for foresee or we will get for see Usai civil society organization, the media, and other people them go divide. Because you know, say in any election and get observers them, we can watch the election and most of them can come out with you know statements at the end of pools for talk say this election we know now this and this we observe, now this and this go on, it been peaceful, it been quiet, it been this, you know, we know experience both voter apathy and all of them things and 
You feel say we'll get for C, even the space for the observer then could get for divide. We say we we'll see that they come and say no, the election based on what in your political party they think this election not be peaceful, or that they will come and say no, this election peaceful. You know that you know mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing that you feel say we will get for C M in this particular election because this election look unique. Yeah, it very look unique. Uh, I I know the rule I'm out say will not go uh, see semblance of individual, uh, you know, positions on the outcome of the elections. We probably will go envisage few of them kind of thing, either from the political party level or from we as HRDs or CSOs based on our based on we own affiliation or whatsoever, mm -hmm. we will still get people that we will present independent and objective reports. Uh, what you really get for be mindful is to the extent that there I am normalities where they see, then things where they think say go for be challenge or whatsoever. The what is the effect to the outcome of the election? Mm -hmm. Because if then can they Skirmishes go day, uh, small halala go day. You can report them, or even you misreport or you over report. If it not get, it not, it not, it not get an effect to the outcome of the election, then we go talk say we don't manage the electoral process well. In a situation where some of them say they get an effect, a direct effect on the outcome of the election, then would they think say would we would they encourage most of it? We call these partners, including political parties, for be mindful. Because for anything we see, we get an effect on the outcome of the election. It will create insecurity and it will undermine the security you know, of I'm the state. I'm happy that you talk about even the political party them. I listened or I watched one particular video the other day where the chairman of all political party organizations or associations, sorry, they try for talk, say, you know, the people that vote important, but them, where they are the political party association. What he then say at the end of the day, now it's very important and then it will be final. For example, if the people they don't <coughs> vote, say that Alfonso's bunny, then they want, they don't vote massively. Then then come and say, no, this particular thing, na uh, um, Sayo Kamara, now we feel say win this election, Alfonso's rig this election. And what then say now in final, he then talk down the inside one video because they may try for ask for let the government go to support them small, small. You know. You know, you still think that it's not all in one in sign? Of course, those are all pointers. So that make with the travel for talk, say, and we'll get for begin to we own uh, uh, election, uh, 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 human rights and election activities. These are some of the issues where they bring out, where they also inform political parties. We all get for, we all get for own up. We all get for get, take responsibility of we conduct and action before, during and after election. Mm. And whosoever we think say it falls short of in your conduct and action, mm. we know they hesitate for identify name and shame. Mm. We, 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 we prepare for that one day. Any party, any civil society, any uh, whether diplomatic community, don't know whatsoever, you fall short of your conduct and action before, during, and after the election, we know they hesitate for name and shame. And we the try for encourage everybody because. If anything go wrong, it, 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 it's not affect you directly. It will affect your relatives, your own family. Mm -hmm. If you could cast for don't know, we go create, we go do something, we go undermine the security of the state. So that would then say we protected. But my mama exposed, my brother exposed, my sister exposed, my picking exposed. That they exposed, they go attack them. Everything happened. So I know they do it, it, it don't go tell well. Now that kind of thing that we need to understand. But anything we go do, we go undermine the security of the state. We confusion go for them. I think so. We're, we're very mindful. All right. So, um, Sayo, what do you take on this particular issue? Sayo, come on. Uh, honestly, the articles are very, very much apprehensive. I know certain of the neutrality of civil society organizations. I know certain of the neutrality of the press. We don't get a lot of uh, politicians investing in the media. For many people, for 
Get for based on their own interest, waiting and get interest on waiting and if they can to benefit when they go get now go get for be their interest at the end of the day. Anyway, let's look at this other paper, quick one. You know, wait now the source newspaper, the source newspaper, you know, uh, you know, um get this part of the, the, the front page where they say I have written off all negative impressions about Sierra Leone. President Bill tells his audience in Fancunia Chiefdom. You know, um Alfonso, what do you make up of this in terms of how, you know, this particular um, government, this the president, how we don't clean the image, instead we don't clean all the negative things that we don't think about with country internationally. What do you make up of this, taking into consideration what you don't hear in four years, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly? I know, I know, I know, me get you clear, please. Uh, uh, you they get me now? <clears throat> yes. I say um, the source newspaper gets this part of the front page where the right say, I have written off all negative impressions about Sierra Leone. They actually the quote President um, Bio as a been talk to an audience na Fan Kunia chiefdom. So what do you make up of this in the last four years about how things don't go, how this government don't try to clean the image as they say of the country internationally? Well, uh, 
the, the, the challenge is it will be difficult for me to understand on which basis or which, which are the elastic or which are the parameters where the president they talk say they don't they don't write off or they don't clean off all the negative thoughts about this country. We yet for understand which are the negative thoughts about Sierra Leone. Is it based is was it on corruption? Was it on human rights issues? Was it on <clears throat> our foreign policies? Or, or, or I, I don't know. Or was it the issue of how we respond to gender disparity in, in, in Sierra Leone? We, we, it, it, now, that kind of angle, we know the president for don't tell we say, these were the negative thoughts about this country. And now, so, now this I don't do, where well, I don't care that these negative thoughts. But technically, from the human perspective, I'm not going to speak in the mind of the president because I, I, me not there in the president, and I know they speak on their behalf, and I know they inside the government for begin speculation at this. But if we look at from the human rights angle, what do we know from the human rights perspective from we own side? We know say there have been challenges on the political uh, sphere, in uh, uh, on civil and political rights particularly the issue of freedom of association and assembly. If if on the issue of freedom of association and assembly, where citizens don't get the rights for demonstrate, for exercise their civic liberty, now it talks, say, it don't clear that negative thought, I'm afraid, because we we'll don't see it, we say, citizens don't get the rights and the mandate for do enjoy their civic liberty, for go out for demonstrates. I don't know from that angle. If on the issue of women's participation and inclusion, now now I'm going to talk about with the CC, there are some aspects of uh, responsiveness by the government for CC, we get women more in governance and in the political <clears throat> atmosphere. That we see that kind of uh, uh, issue, they go up. Even on the issue of business and human rights, the business institution that they, they respect the rights of the citizens, then they then they comply, then they do what to refer to as remedy, and the government they protect. We are yet to see that kind of situation from that angle of business and human rights. When they see, look at what thing happened, the mobile companies that they do now. Go now, Moyamba, see how Ruta they operates, what thing they do. Go now, Kono, how how they call them about this mining company. Uh, uh, Shandomba or Salon Diamond, which is a uh, 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 hold it. How did they do? How did they take relocate oh, in the yeah. people? Then, then they, so uh, 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 the thing is, is so elaborate, it's so big. So, president, for them, at least guide way for say, this are the negative thoughts will be kind of power. Now, this are the area about Sierra Leone. And I saw me don't clear that negative thoughts. But as for, as for now, I don't go speak what in the mind of the president. But what will you look at from your own perspective, from the human rights perspective, human rights point of view? They don't look at the issue of the death penalty where they don't pull out, where to wait, fair enough. We don't see and we don't see a review of the land act. We now women, they own property, they own land, which is very good to us as human rights defenders. Uh, 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 <clears throat> the challenge what they see is that. We not see any semblance of the what to refer to as the the right to expectable living. We say that they pay you six hundred thousand, they live, you know, responsibly, or they they live in that average life with which they earn, and people they live with in a way which they pay them, and not even commercially to the standard of living. So if they pay you six hundred thousand, and you are living. Your expense, your standard of living in the country, as let's say as a wage, a daily wage person, and as a family of three, then calculate you monthly living. It did almost two million, and yet then they pay you six hundred thousand. And to me, I don't see anything how the government can tell we say they don't address that kind of issue today. You and know, so we yet. Quick, all, quickly, like I'm inside quickly. You talk about the gender equality bill. We actually don't pass a very good law, but you don't actually watch this bill, good, good one, because from waiting, um, we look at now this law, it, it, it nice, but 
is is vague in some sense and not applicable to the appointment of the president. Like for example, if you take two men inside uh, any ministerial position for being one uh, uh, woman day for the president it's not applicable for political party them it's not applicable when i then side they ask for the woman them they look say then for able for take part in governance business see your see your one but it's not really applicable but although it reflects in some other angle then but not uh -huh, then i just want to the yes, electoral do, system do, but at this time one, one 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 i mean remember for, for, us, for example Years back, when 50 50 and all the women organization and the campaign, then all the way that they talk about 30 percent, then they talk about representation in parliament, talk about ministerial <laughs> position, but it's not applicable in this because if political party they not give 30 percent to women, then it's not applicable in the parliament. <clears throat> anyway, me na, me na somebody really we know, we, we know even they in favor of the issue of 30 percent, okay, me from the human perspective, why I don't see any reason. Why we need for talk about thirty percent for women? There is no, there is no justifiable reason to me, because we are all born equal, and so we all get equal rights to all opportunities, and therefore just ensure see for every situation, we say they get man and woman they compete, woman they forgive get a greater priority, and so to me the thirty percent not to be the issue for me. The issue that we we all equal. And we offer, in fact, now women they more forget greater opportunities than we. Me, what she does, not to me, not to, not to me, come out for myself, and not born myself. Now woman born me. But, but and so, we, we give respect for women the way born we. We forgive the opportunity for women they more forget more opportunities than we the men. That's my own, that's my own opinion, <laughs> and I hold on to that opinion. Yeah, and I, I, I think I, 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 I glad for this kind of difference. I, I, I think say, we need to do more for women. Than with the men. Uh, now, for me, I'm going to okay. uh, uh, And so, if we look at from that perspective, for now that we see women living their own land, you go to some communities, even up country, mm -hmm. women don't get land. They don't, they don't get property, they don't get that land. Mm -hmm. Now, they, she say women they get, get opportunity for own land. Mm -hmm. I think to me, now a big step, now a big step for ensure women they get a say and a greater stake in the development and governance of this country. All right. Why? Uh, in as much the the, the gen, that act no creates say president for appoint, but in other positions in other provisions like the electoral act, it give opportunity even that list that list system for this PR where you put one one man one woman one or you get two one man two one woman we get two man one woman two man one woman all that they need now a way of ensuring that we get two man and part of the system. Okay. Into the uh, 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 governance system. All right. So and you if to... you're not there, even if you're not there inside for the president, na 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 an advantage for any sitting president. Forgive appointments to women the more because when they go to the global community, we say they go join the civilized nation, a group of civilized heads of states and presidents. You go you go proud for tell your colleagues they say me cabinet. I get 40% or 50% women. It's a glad for all day, but it will be shameful for you as a president. You go among a civilized group for go and show say your cabinet get almost 10% or 5%. And so it left to the president, if you really want to put yourself among the class of civilized group and you want to within the global community as to the evolve now, I think say any sitting president, they're not for tell you. Okay. Now you for do more for women. All right, we actually don't come to the end of the program. Sayola so gets the last bite from you on this particular issue. What do you, what do you make up of them, generally? <coughs> you know, because... Uh, and they, they, yeah, the president say in don't, in don't write all the... They don't correct all the negative things and the negative things that they think about the country. And that is it. To me, I think so. Thank <laughs> you. 
then elections, then is election can pass, then the new administration, if the opposition win, when they come, then they will be voting in the talk. The government say, in fact, there was no government in Sierra Leone. I remember very well when Tijan Kaba, this Tijan Kaba, in, in the Andover. The subsequent interviews that the then president has spoken to me do on the economy. I think we don't get bad line um, to um, Sayo. We don't get. You get me? You get me, please? Yes, I get. Okay, continue for making points. The line being bad just now. Okay. So we want for want for apologize because the line don't bad. One for apologize actually the line don't bad. 
Um, we want to apologize, Sayo, because the line done bad. So you make very important point, but the line really done bad. And I want for big. Uh, we will actually they continue in another edition for all they talk about different things. Them we actually they go on inside the country because a lot of things then they go in more now that we don't reach this particular point. We will get a lot of issues them where they come up. So we hope forget you again inside another edition. And uh, yes, you see the line don't really the bad. Inside another edition, and maybe this time around, the next time will be on Zoom. We just hope that you're able for connect way on Zoom, so we we'll get a clean conversation in the next time. But uh, now we're standing. I want to tell you plenty, plenty. Thank you for when I join me inside the program today. For let we discuss different things them inside um, this program because it's nice that we get them newspaper so we review within the different newspaper them they say and actually you know make let people understand within within they happen especially from the journalist young view from the human rights view all of that and they put together i think the program will be a very good program for let we get two different people and from different background for talk about different issues then so one more time for telling my plenty thank you for on joining inside the program alfonso Bani from human rights defenders network thank you very much as always for where you don't the um, honor invitation for joining we inside the program in the morning follow talk about them in as much as you get very busy schedule but you as well they make a very um you know try for honor the invitation for all discuss things they will appreciate you so much thank you very much um for the first day we don't get a um, senior colleague we in a sayo kamara kekus thank you very much for we joining we inside the program today for let me talk about different things then we hope for they get you again inside another edition for let me discuss different other things they will appreciate you so much well the producer for this program now Ilya Saba now in don't they make this program the meet to you this rich rich way how they meet you so we appreciate you thank you very much Ilya Saba for the kind of production skills we put inside this program well my name now Ali you say well um I use the name Sembe Pierre inside this particular um program until we meet again I for say God bless we country Sierra Leone where we call we had well thank you very much guys and please and I get a very good day Another morning again is I we had. Plenty of things then they happen. I wonder how sneeze again what we are here today. But this is small country we had. Anyway, before I go to the wala now we had, I just go to the kitchen and check my colores. Yes, colores. Some man really left like for it in the morning. Some people say they just like what they eat don't sleep. Hmm. Other people say na the cow they like, especially when they cook the soup or plasas where they like pass all. So now that make we they bring to you this program where we call Colres, as we they look at different story them na the 